摔在地上的手机屏幕依然完好如初，好吃的午餐也能用玻璃碗放进微波炉烤箱里，既能承受重摔又经得起高温烤业，这些都是美国玻璃制造商康宁的招牌产品。但不说，你一定不知道，康宁也是美国疫苗国家队的重要成员。When COVID came, it is a great example of sort of public-private partnership. Is the government basically funded a quarter of a billion dollars、uh, for us to increase? Our productive capacity by over 50 times. Kang Ning is the United States Emergency Response Team member who won a big grant from the federal government to build a new facility in Bay Cara to make a new vaccine for COVID-19. To boost the world's production of more than 32 billion dollars of products. Velocity Glass, on the other hand, doesn't go through an ion exchange process, but still receives a low coefficient of friction external coating. Which makes it substantially more durable and crack resistant compared to conventional bore silicate vials that are made by our competitors. 疫苗玻璃瓶算得上是药品本身的一部分，尤其 mRNA 的疫苗需要冷冻保存，对瓶子的要求也就更加严苛。康宁研发出的新款玻璃瓶坚硬程度增加了二十倍，还能承受摄氏零下一百八十度到四百度高温的考验，更利用特殊的涂层减少玻璃瓶的摩擦。We have found that their vials, because of the coating, actually have a faster throughput rate for us on the equipment that we use, and anything we can. Right now, to speed more doses to patients around the world is critical. 正在制作高科技疫苗玻璃瓶的北卡新工厂，号称一年能生产五亿个，来应付疫情期的大量需求。即使面对玻璃还有沙土原料短缺，康宁仍然老神在在，靠的就是疫情初期的超前部署。They're ramping capacity. To a plan that's also supported by like a major customer, they have a long-term agreement with Pfizer. They started developing this glass, Valor glass, before COVID because companies like Merck and Pfizer saw an opportunity and a need for an advanced glass, and because there was shortages already developing in the in the glass supply chain. Valor 跟 Velocity 两款新款的玻璃瓶小兵立大功。康宁公司靠着前瞻性部署，从去年三月到现在，股价上涨了百分之六十四。I'm not saying that they don't face competition, but what Corning has has invented should create a significant opportunity for them, you know, over the next three to five years and longer. It could be as big as a one billion dollar revenue business, which, in the context of their 14 billion dollars in sales, is is pretty significant. 玻璃瓶产业到了二零二八年，规模渴望达到七十四点六亿美元。康宁的执行长也看好未来的发展，认为这波需求不会因为疫情减缓而有所减退。要靠小小的玻璃瓶，即使扛起康。